Okay, so welcome back to Married to Golf. I'm Russell, professional golfer. Yeah, you are, and I'm Anna, beginner-ish golfer. <laughs> beginner-ish, sort of American twang kind of golfer. Okay. What was with the accent? I don't know. Okay. I just the brummy. Maybe it was too much brummy. Too much brummy. So we're changing that up, right? Anyway, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you something that Anna is going to learn how to strike the golf ball like miles better. It's something that I do with loads of my online students, so I know it's going to work, and it's massively upon reflection of the last game of golf. On the golf course. So you went and played West Midlands. You played, Which I loved. You yeah. did. You I played did. three holes. Mm -hmm. And I thought you did really well. Thank you. Um, but I don't know about yourself, there was quite a notable theme where quite a lot of shots were going off to the right. Yeah, and there's so much body movement. I know the body movement was a problem. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to elaborate on that because that's something that's really kind of commonplace. So if I okay. take centre stage first, you stand opposite me, so you're going to copy this in a moment. So what was happening was one of two things with Anna. She was either hitting shots off to the right or the contact wasn't, like, great, OK? And what I mean by that is the club would sort of hit the ground a little bit sort of early, and that's when you kind of get that, that sort of lack of strike sound, and we want to work on that. So what was happening is pretty much what Anna sort of alluded to is too much movement. Yeah. OK, so what this means is when you start moving too much in this backswing position, it just brings the club to a round. It brings it kind of, if you like, too flat. And it basically just means there's a lack of sort of downward movement of the club head on the back of the ball. Mm. So what we're going to work on today is two things. One of them is sequence. OK, okay so we're going to focus on a point when the club head is about four feet back. And is that where I don't move my body? This is where you don't want to move. move All you anything. want to do is just get the club head to travel in a straight line. So okay. we're aiming at the 100 yard marker. Okay. Okay, so you're going to travel, try and use this red line here. Yeah. About four feet from your perspective, like so. Mm -hmm. And then from here, what we've got to stop doing, and it's got to be, this is to be quieter. You've got to lift your arms uh, up. Do you understand? Yes, I understand that. Show me. So it's almost like a two part. Don't yeah, move I mean, your body. Then up. You could do a couple of practice swings if you like in two parts. I obviously don't want you to get into too much of a habit of literally pausing. Um, okay. But we'll see a couple. Oops, sorry. We'll see a couple of little practice swings. So show me the the four feet back. Very good. And then from there, less movement. Keep the right leg a little more flexed. Good. Okay. And then down and through. Okay. Okay. You ready? You want to try and hit a few? Yeah. Am I okay to think it in two parts? One, mm. two. Absolutely. Should we see how we get on? Let's hit a few. So aim towards that 100 yard marker. So we need to turn a bit. Follow the red line. You what? Uh, follow the red line. Oh. It's okay. Okay. Went Sorry. across the floor. I did that a lot on the course, um, where it rolled a lot. That was all right, it was different. <laughs> Better. Okay. Good. Jesus, nice. that was only like nice and straight. So a just meter away from the hundred. We're hitting like a nine iron at the moment, just for people at home, right? So we're, if this can kind of go 80, 90 yards, something like that would be really good. And how much was I then? Um, about... Uh, 71, so that's good, that's fine. Lovely strike. Much better. It's quite to the left though. And I'm um, feeling by going up, yeah. I'm coming down on the ball, completely yeah. different. So that'd be good feedback for people as well. Because okay. that's kind of what we're looking for. Because I was doing what Rush, Russ was saying, I was going that way. Yeah. And actually, it, I feel like it's um, a lot less stress on my body going up. Good. I feel like... A, so we still want to keep that body quiet in that second little part. So you could show me a little rehearsal again. So the first four feet. So no movement at all. And then from there. Uh, yeah. And that's even in that second phase, you want to try and reduce your lower body. Yes, better. Well done. Okay. Yeah, because I'm too like yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, well done. Fine. Feels different, Russ. But you Feels can also different. see that the last three shots you've hit, one has been a really good strike, two have been okay strikes, okay. that's fine. But they're all going straight. Yeah, they Whilst are. Whilst when you were playing the other day, obviously the majority of them were going off to the right. But I also feel with just doing that up movement, 
because in my head I'm going one and then up two, mm -hmm. I'm actually feeling like the weight of the club's going forward yeah. rather than my... It's really good. Body. So what we'll do, I'm happy with that, so we'll mix it up. So you did have a little bit of a go with this one. This is oh, like good. a hybrid. As soon as you change the club, I feel like I just changed my mindset. <laughs> so we'll see if we can do the same sort of thing with this one. So exactly the same as what you've just taught me. So you're just going to move, um, the ball goes a little bit further in line, a little bit like the fairway would when we okay. move the ball a little bit further forward. So just no movement, yeah? Yep. And then arms up. Okay. Wow. Yeah, lovely strike. Much better, yeah? Yeah. That was a nice one, that went quite far. Woo! How far was that? <laughs> that was 120, so that's as far as you were hitting your driver. Oh, in wow. the last video. Much better. And that is, turn that one upside down. What number's on the bottom of that? Uh, this is a... The number's rubbed off for us. It's that old. <laughs> no, it's there. Oh, no. <laughs> 25. Five. Five. So that means it's like a replacement of a five iron. So what's that 25 underneath? It's the degrees. So that's oh. the amount of loft. Okay. Very good. Let's hit a couple more. Okay. That felt good. This... I feel totally different with that sequence. So... <laughs> Lovely. Wow. <laughs> Much better. But why has that suddenly just completely changed my game? Well, do one more. I wasn't doing that on the course. Oh, I'm no. pausing though, is that okay? It's fine. It feels like a pause. I don't think there's a deliberate pause there. What we're sort of doing is... Um, yeah, the movement and Anna's golf swing is just, it's just advancing really, is the best way I can sort of say. I think for other people at home that can kind of relate to this is what you said. So if it doesn't feel like you're sort of coming sort of almost like down and swinging through, yeah. then that would generally be a really good telling sign that you're in the wrong backswing. But what Russ has told me that has completely changed mentally is it's like no body movement for the first four feet. So I'm using it in two parts in my head to absolutely learn, then it's up. Mm. And those two things have just, it's just completely changed my yeah, game. Yeah. No, I, I think so. And I think it's the amazing. nice thing for Anna as well is, because we'll revisit some of the short game stuff, is you want to kind of feel, even in that first four feet, you know, it's a chipping action. So you'll start, if you keep watching the journey and you'll relay this back, yeah. it's, it's all the same thing is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is that, compre what's compression? Compression is like that, that downward strike. So I've always wondered what that meant. Yeah, so um, what you've okay. done today by kind of compressing the golf ball is when that club is striking more down, it gives more of a thud. Yeah, when God, you it hit just more felt up, totally different. You know, and, and we can see that in some of the uh, the shots. Anyway, that's fine for today. Am I out of the camera? No, yes. there I am. Um, so <laughs> that was a that's probably my best lesson that you've given me. Oh, thank you very much. No, you're welcome. No, it's because you're advancing as well. So um, back out to the course next. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>